Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mercury. This is a dead star. I know, shocking, but this is what a dead star looks like. It orbits the sun very closely. It is the first what scientists call planet that orbits the sun. Next is Venus, next is Earth. But this star is older than the Earth, older than Venus, older than Mars, older than any other star in our solar system. It is dead. It is completely solidified and is a rocky ball that just floats around the galaxy, taking up orbit whichever star happens to pull it out of its current orbit. Scientists call these planets, but yeah, that's that's an outdated term. Let me let me show you what I mean. After the star is born, really hot and bright, it cools, shrinks, dies, loses mass to solar flares, solar radiation, and solar wind, and solidifies, going all through these phase transitions. It starts out as plasma, then it goes to gaseous matter, which are gas giants, and it goes to liquids, and it has a solid interior in the center, and eventually it completely solidifies, dies, and cools, becoming a dead star. We can see these in our telescopes and even with your eyes because they reflect the light from the sun. Mercury, Mars, Moon, Pluto, those are dead stars. They are vastly older than the Earth and they are right inside of our solar system. They're not made of exotic matter, it's just rocks and minerals. That's what a dead star is made out of. It's just too bad because they're very easy to understand. I don't know why establishment has made it so difficult for people, maybe to justify all the years of schooling those people go to, but you can teach this to a kindergartner.